Hey cute people, it's Friday. Yes, it's the freaking weekend. I know a lot of you are happy for sure. And Monday is a holiday too. I know you guys are going to have fun this weekend. And um, I am too. Not doing much, but I'm still going to have fun. This is a product review. So I'm going to try to get right into it instead of talking about the freaking weekend and holiday and all that other good stuff. But I have a safe one anyway. This is a product review. It is not Allocate Naturals. I know on the um, video I did of the unboxing of the Allocate Takeover with Curl Kit and all that. People were asking me if I was going to um, review the products and I will. Because people seem to really like the products and it's really really nice that the young lady Rochelle Graham I got her name now um, started right here on YouTube and parlayed her popularity into a thriving company which seems to be doing very good so I'm eager to try her products I did try the leave in um, the lemongrass and I finished it I got the little deluxe sample from um, a curl kit and I finally use it. I like that. So I'll get more into the um, Allocate Naturals at another time. I wanted to use it the past weekend, Sunday, my wash day. But I didn't. So I'm thinking about this weekend. I don't know. Because when you have so many products to look at, it's like you just look at something and like, Nah, I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling that. It's all a mental illness. But anyway, the product that I want to talk about is this product here. The Luscious Locks Shea Butter Hair Mask. I already did a review on um, this product here from the same company, the um, Shea Butter Shampoo. And I'll either link that on the side over here somewhere in the video or just down below in the description box. But check it out. I've seen um, a couple reviews on the product, not a lot. And as you know, this also came in a curl kit along with the um, Shea Butter Hair Mask. I have to say... I went to the company's website. They only have two products. This one <laughs> and this one. So I guess we can tell it's a fairly new company. And if you want to know, the um, website is lusciouslocks.biz. And they're straight out of Atlanta, Georgia. So that's really nice to know. I um, have to say, this surprised me. I said before time and time again I am a product skeptic. Why? Because I find that a lot of products for me and my hair just don't work. But I realize it may not just be the product, it may just be my type of hair which again is tightly cold and yada 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 I told you guys about that. But this here is really really a nice product. Let me show you guys. It's a cream. I've used it several times. Maybe like three or four weeks in a row. And I have to say I like it. I like the smell. It has a nice, fresh, clean smell. Not overwhelming at all. And um, it's free of sulfates. No parabens, phylates, paraffin, gluten, mineral oil, or synthetic dyes. Which we know is good. And let's see if I can give you some of the ingredients. Deionized water, shea butter is in here, avocado oil is in here, vegetable glycerin is in here. Um, a whole lot of other stuff. And if I go to the website and I see where they have ingredient list, then, and I can, I'll attach it to the um, description box below and you can read more about the um, ingredients. I'm not one who watches for ingredients a whole lot. I'm going to start doing that real soon. Um, but I find with my hair, um, a lot of things that I've been trying pretty much work for me only because I've looked at other people's videos. I don't buy things just because somebody else buys it, tries it, and liked it. But of course that does um, play an part into why I may try something. But it's not solely based on the fact that I looked at a video and saw that it worked for somebody else that it's going to work for me. It may, um spark my curiosity then I'll try it. if I like it then you know I'll go ahead and get it but this product here I have to say I really like it I heard people like I said talking about the shampoo but not the hair mask when I put this in my hair and I washed it out what I did you know just put it in my hair I put my conditioning cap on and I walked around the house for maybe 15 to 20 minutes no longer than and this stuff really made my hair soft 
it made my hair soft to the touch. It wasn't stripped at all. It didn't feel like the natural oils that were, you know, that would normally be on my hair. It didn't feel like it stripped it away at all. My hair felt really nice and really soft. Now, after I rinsed it out and then I put whatever I'm going to put in my hair, I'm looking to see what's, what my hair is going to feel like a couple of days later, especially since the styling agents or products that I put in my hair were pretty much the same thing that I had been using for a while. So I figured they weren't doing me anything bad. If my hair turned out to be overly dry despite winter, then I was going to attribute it to this product here. Follow me? But my hair still feels feels nice. It feels good. I have it now in twists. As a matter of fact, I think for the last two, three weeks, I have not worn my hair out at all. I did cut it about that much off. So it may be lopsided. You know how that is. But I need my hair to be healthy more than anything. And I talked to you guys before about hair depression. I thought I was losing my hair. But I come to realize it's really just breakage. The longer my hair has become, you know, I have to do more manip more manipulation and the type of hair that I have and so forth and on and on and on. But I have to say I really like this stuff. Yeah, it's infused with argan oil and shea butter. And it really made my hair so I couldn't believe it. I detangled my hair before I um wash my hair. I detangle, I twist, wash. But like I said, since my hair has been in chunky twists, I kept it that way for the last two or three weeks. Just wash my hair with the twist in, deep condition with the twist in, do all that good stuff. And this stuff right here made my hair feel wondrously. That's not a word either, but I like making up new words. It just sounds cute here and there. There and here. You know, but um, when you use a hair mask, deep conditioner, it's like what are you looking for to know if this is a good product for you? I'd have to say that when it's in your hair, how does the slip feel? The slip was great. Felt great. My hair was soft to the touch. I had twists in my hair, so I'm not going through my hair at all. But I usually touch the top part, you know, towards the roots. And it felt nice. It felt good. And that's really what I'm looking for. As long as it feels nice and it feels good, then I know I'm on the right track. So then, of course, after I rinsed it out, I wanted to do the video while I was actually using the product the first, the second time. But then I did not. And like I said, I've used it at least. You don't need a lot. That's another thing. I probably will use this whole bunch. Well, maybe, maybe I have another two applications in here. Because I don't use a lot. And I concentrate mainly on the ends of my hair. You know. That's where we tightly cold girls have our problems, the end of our hair, and um, tangling, of course. But this stuff smells really, really good, I have to say. It really does. It says it prevents hair loss and dandruff. It is lightly scented, as it says, with refreshing scent of shea butter and avocado oil. Um, and, it, and it does smell good. It gives my hair the moisture that it needs. It helps me keep the moisture in my hair. I told you once before in another video that what I look for as far as moisture in my hair that I don't have to wash my hair on Sunday and then re-moisture and seal and do all that on Monday. I'm looking for at least two days before I have to start doing that. But it's winter now. The air is drier and um, I have to do it every day. But my hair didn't feel um, so dry like thirstily dry. This stuff here is just a group, a great product. I don't know what other sizes this may come in. Um, I don't know if this is the only size because as I said, I got it in a curl kit. But curl kit did a good job in picking this product. And even the shampoo, which I'm surprised I liked it. And other people that I watched their videos did not like it. So watch my review on this. And that is my review of the Luscious Locks Shea Butter Hair Mask infused with argan and shea butter. Yeah, I really have to say I like it. So, am I holding this the right way so you can see it? Okay. And you can see it's just a little jar. It's nothing, nothing big. What is this? How many ounces is it? It's two ounces, so maybe it's just a sample. But I just wanted to bring that to you guys in case you got it in your curl kit and you hadn't tried it and wasn't thinking about trying it and decided I'm going to put it down or whatever. There may be some ingredients in there that you don't care for. But if you can, give it a try. I really like it. 
I can't say that I would buy it because I got like 17,000 more bottles and jars of deep conditioner I have to go through before I start making purchases. But I have to say I really do like it. It makes my hair soft. It didn't strip my hair. My hair still felt good. I used it in conjunction with this shampoo and they both did me some wonders. So that is my review. And I think as a tightly coiled girl, if it does good for me, I always say that if it does good for tight coils, I know it has to do wonders for someone who has a looser curl pattern and uh, much finer hair because I liked it. I like it. So I'm going to end this video now because um, I want to. And <laughs> like I said, there's always something to do. And I just want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next. And I want you to share and spread love. You can use this on your body too. I love this stuff. There's not much left.